Okay, for today's What's It, we want to show you what is the EC1 controller. This is a device by Silver Reed. It will only work on the Silver Reed modular knitting machines, which means the SK830, SK840, SK860, and SK890 series. And the theory behind using a separate unit like this instead of the built-in unit in your knitting machine is that you could buy many different machines but only buy one set of electronics and therefore you could save money by buying the electronics once and um, having several different machines in different gauges. Now let me just show you the basics here. This is a mylar or you know, what they call a design card. It's translucent. Um, the mylars that come with EC1 typically are red and they are used to tell the machine what uh, patterns you want to do. So for example here I have a, a slip stitch pattern um, on this side and um, the colored in areas represent the stitches I would like to slip. Um, all the uncolored areas are where I would like the machine to knit. Okay, these are drawn in reverse, so actually the colored areas um, are the slip, meaning the non-selected needles every area where you see it's blank will be selected needles and in order to accomplish that for electronic machines you can use this button here the reverse button so the reverse button will interpret every colored in area as a non-selected needle and the non-colored areas as selected needles or or needles that will knit there are other modifications that you can do. Um, you can uh, flip the image in mirror format. You can um, kind of double the image in height, uh, double it in width, or um, determine the mirroring. Is there a row in between the mirroring, or um, is there not a row between the mirrored images? And this button here is for double bed jacquard splitting. This uh, button will uh, indicate the direction that the mylar is moving. Is it moving down into the machine or is it moving up into the machine? And this here is called the inspection light. Now, what is the meaning of the inspection light? Uh, we'll show you how that works in a moment. Now, one thing you'll notice about EC1 is that it does have this fan noise uh, personally, the geese find it pretty darn irritating, but that's uh, EC1 for you. As you see here, this is the first row of knitting. So we're going to uh, scroll that down to the first row. But when you do that, the machine cannot read this row. The reader is actually in the machine down there where we can't even point. So. That's what the inspection button is about. Um, it actually reads four rows down. So when you hit the inspection button, it's going to advance up. Okay. You then scroll this down to the first row of real knitting. When I hit this um, inspection button, it will go down into the machine four rows. Okay, and that little thump thump tells it that um, it's going to start reading your pencil marks. So that's why for an EC1, the inspection button, it allows you to scroll it up and down so that you can inspect what is going to be knitted next, but then tell the machine to um, read that same row. So that's why it's called the inspection button. Again, it's very noisy and irritating. One other hint that we have for you here is um, we wrote down the instructions on our machine. It's very irritating to have to pull out the manual every time to remember every step. 
So that's where we recommend that you write down the instructions and um, put it on your machine so that it's always handy. Now one important thing to note is that there's a cord coming out of EC1. This cord eventually plugs into the curl cord which will then plug into the carriage. This is how EC1 sends the signals to the knitting machine. The carriage has some magnets and when the magnets are turned on the needle will select. When it's turned off it will be unselected and based on how you color the mylar will determine whether the needle is selected or is not selected and depending on the carriage setting here will determine whether an unselected needle will slip or whether it will tuck or uh, possibly uh, select a different color in the carriage in the case of Fair Isle. So that's an overview of how EC1 works. Um, we'll have some more detailed videos showing you more of the um, fancier features and how to fill out the mylar. Thanks for watching. <music>